A little while ago, Skylum announced that they were going to release seven new additional extensions to improve the functionality of Luminar Neo. So far, we've seen the very successful HDR merge tool, and they've just announced the Noiseless AI plugin as well. There are going to be five more plugins before the end of the year, and Skylum are currently running an early bird promotion that they're saying to us we can invest at a lower discounted price if we want to get hold of these extensions. However, they haven't told us what those extensions are going to be. So that really makes it difficult to make a decision on whether or not we should take advantage of their pre-sale discounted price. However, I think there's hope because I think we know enough about what the AI photo editing tools are capable of that we can make some pretty informed guesses about where these tools might be headed. So I'm going to hit you with some predictions and bear that in mind that is exactly what these are. Skylum are keeping the details around these extensions like a closely guarded secret. So all I can do is offer you my thoughts on the possibilities of these tools along with my reasoning as to why I think we may see them. First of all, I can share some really good news because I was sworn to secrecy, but the padlock is off and I can let you know that Clone Stamp is going to be released in mid-September in Luminar Neo with a free update, so we're finally going to see that. I was reading the Luminar Insiders blog post earlier where they actually announced these extensions and man, people were getting so angry on there about why this wasn't being built straight into Luminar Neo. And I totally get it. Like you've bought Luminar Neo, like, I don't want to spend more money on additional plugins. Build it into the program in the first place, would you? But there is a kind of flip side to that as well. So for example, I'm a Photoshop user. I love Photoshop. It's got so much functionality inside of that program. However, there are certain specific tasks that I need to do with my image editing where I call on specialist third-party plugins to do that for me. So for example, upscaling. You can make your image bigger inside of Photoshop. However, the algorithms that can do that in Photoshop, they're not particularly good. So I would use a dedicated upscaler, in my case, Giga Pixel AI, the best on the market and if you do need to make your photos bigger certainly check that out and if I want to do dedicated sharpening noise reduction I will call on a third-party plugin which I paid for separately to my Adobe subscription because that does the job better and it's that kind of concept that I think Skylum are trying to build around Luminar Neo that Neo is a photographic ecosystem that we can plug in additional functionality into that you don't have to like you can keep using Luminar Neo and achieve very good results with that just as your sole photo editor like if you want to reduce noise it has a denoise tool in neo if you want to sharpen it has a sharpening tool in neo but if you have a dedicated need for a tool or you want pro level results like for noiseless ai that's where you call on a dedicated plugin and to develop those tools takes coders time their knowledge resources to actually develop those high level tools and so if we're wanting access to those then you know, they're a business. I, I don't have a problem paying for those additional plugins if I want them. And that's the big thing. It's an if. You don't have to get these plugins. I'm going off on one a little bit here, but the point I'm trying to make is there's no such thing as a free lunch. And I don't think or I don't feel that we should expect to be getting all these amazing plugins for free. It's our choice as users. Luminar is not going to stop working because we don't get them. I don't expect them added into the program for free. And on another side note, yes, there are still elements of Luminar Neo that I think need improving before they spend too much time working on these extensions, but that's a different topic. I started going off on one there and I apologize. The real purpose of this video was actually to have a think about what extensions might be coming out in Luminar Neo. So it's pretty much a guarded secret as to what these new five are gonna be. And I wasn't even gonna do a video on this until some of you guys started emailing me asking my opinion because already a very good creator, Jim Nix, you guys may follow him and if you don't, you really should. He's great with his tutorials and just Luminar knowledge in general. So I'll put a link to his YouTube channel below. But he's already covered his take on what he thinks these new extensions are going to be. And while I agree with some of his thoughts, and like I say, pure conjecture, I've actually had a few other thoughts about what I think might be appearing. So let me cover off what's coming up in Luminar Neo, maybe. Firstly, my hope for these extensions is that they are genuinely practical and useful tools for us photographers that solve issues that we have in our editing process, not gimmicky stuff. I don't want to be taking a photo of myself and turning me into a cartoon. Like, it just doesn't interest me whatsoever. I want real world usable tools. 
One of the most useful image editing AI tools that I ever use is an image upscaler. So making photos bigger. If you're anything like me, you've probably got a whole batch of imagery that you shot on an older camera that had a smaller sensor and resulted in pretty substandard images. And if you want to do anything meaningful with those photos going forward, you need to increase the resolution. The problem is the resizing algorithms that the likes of Luminar, Photoshop, and other photo editors use just isn't very good. They increase the size of your photo by adding more pixels, more resolution, but they're not actually adding more detail. And that's where AI upscaling comes in because it can actually recognize objects and add detail into our photos. Currently I use Gigapixel AI, which is the best of the best for this type of upscaling. But if Luminar and Skylum can come up with something that can rival this and build it in as a plugin for Luminar Neo, then I think they're onto a good thing. So I would be very surprised if we don't see some type of AI upscaling extension for Luminar. Panoramic photography is very much a staple for us landscape photographers and so if we can incorporate the ability to stitch those photos together into a panorama inside of Luminar Neo, that's a really good thing. And so I don't think Skylum will be overlooking this. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an extension dedicated to panoramic stitching very soon. When I first started using the beta version of the HDR merge tool, a lot of people were writing to me saying, does it also do focus stacking? Which it doesn't, however it did underline the fact that there's a very real need for that technology. So if Skylum can introduce that into Luminar Neo and give us an extension that will allow us to do focus stacking, I think that would be a great thing, so I'd be very surprised if they overlook that. Just as an aside, if you're not sure what focus stacking is, super simple. It's a method used to get sharpness in your photos from front all the way to the back by changing the focus point throughout a series of photos and then merging all of those photos, taking the sharpest bit from each photo and combining it into one. It's used a lot in product photography and really great for landscape photography where you have foreground elements where you want them in focus and say mountains all the way in the background as well. Sharpen AI, is that something we're going to see as an extension? I think we probably will. Even though we've already got a sharpen tool inside of Luminar Neo, I mean, what photo editor doesn't have a sharpen tool? Sometimes you need dedicated AI sharpening to really save your bacon. I recently had the horrific experience where this lens had taken a knock and it wasn't perfectly focusing and I didn't know this, I was on a job for a very very big client, there was big money involved, it was a one-off opportunity to get the photos, I got home, downloaded them and to my absolute horror I realised that they weren't sharp, they weren't in focus and I freaked out. I'm so thankful that I had Topaz Sharpen AI because it absolutely saved my bacon, I was able to deliver those photos, client didn't know any issue it ever existed existed with the imagery and I was so, so so relieved. So a dedicated AI sharpening extension could be super useful but I'm saying could because while I think they will develop one and we'll see it introduced into Luminar Neo there's only rare times when you're actually going to use it like you don't go out and just shoot blurry photos all the time but sometimes there may be a very real need for it and it may well save your bacon too. One extension that I would really like to see is some form of liquify. It's a tool that I use a lot inside of Photoshop. It's really useful. However, I don't think we'll actually see that because Skylum's philosophy behind Luminar Neo is for tools of simplicity. And they like to achieve results with sliders, drag and drop, that kind of thing. Whereas liquify is very much a poke and move kind of manual tool. So while I love the idea of that tool, I just don't think it fits with the ethos of Luminar. On the Luminar Insiders blog, I saw a couple of people hoping that they were gonna see an extension that would take care of perspective corrections. So transformation of your image in 3D space. So if you have architectural images that are converging, you can correct that but you're not gonna see a plugin that's gonna take care of that inside of Luminar Neo. And the reason being, it's already there. So if you're unaware of that, let me just quickly show you how to do that. So it literally lives inside of the develop raw tool. Right at the bottom here, we have transform. And that's going to allow you to transform the canvas of your photo in three-dimensional space. And you can do that on the vertical or the horizontal axis. So are we going to see a perspective transformation extension anytime soon? No, it's already there. So the next one that I thought we could see appear would be Stylize AI. And my thinking behind this would be, like, imagine your photo combined with the artistic expression of Van Gogh. Like, Van Gogh style, your photo merged via AI to create a finished piece. Now, I know that might be heading a little bit into those realms of a bit gimmicky, but if it's done well, I actually think that it could genuinely be a really useful creative tool. 
but it may never even exist, so we'll have to wait and see. Now a lot of you have sent me old scanned photos, damaged, torn, faded, and asked me can I correct it in Luminar Neo. Now I'm going to be straight up with you, as it stands at the moment, I don't think Luminar Neo is the right tool for photo restoration. Restoring old photos, particularly badly damaged ones, takes a very specific skill set, and currently Luminar Neo just isn't set up to cater with that. However, perhaps we're going to see an AI tool that's going to do a lot of that heavy lifting for us and maybe be able to correct and restore those old photos. Just while we're on the topic of old photos, I've got another thought, Colorize AI, basically taking photos that were shot pre-color on black and white and you want to actually colorize those images, I'm thinking that the AI would be very capable of injecting color into those photos. So again, could very well be an extension that we see. You guys are familiar with the very long titled Portrait Background Removal AI tool, right? Well, it does an excellent job, as you know, on portraits of humans. Well, a lot of you shoot pets and wildlife, other objects, and with one click, you'd love to be able to get rid of the background from those as well. And I just don't think we're gonna see that built into Luminar Neo per se, because it takes a whole lot of extra coding to actually allow the AI to do that. I think it's a specialized tool, and I think we're probably gonna see that exist as a brand new extension. Okay guys, so that's some of my educated guesses around what these extensions might look like. If you think you want to invest in any of these extensions, Skylum are currently running an early bird promotion. However, think it through. Like, if it doesn't look right for you, you don't have to get this. As I said at the beginning, Luminar Neo is still going to carry on functioning for you as a perfectly valid photo editor. You don't need to get these. That is entirely up to you. They're currently doing a 30-day money-back guarantee, so it may be worth just trying it out. I do have a referral link in the description below to that best price. However, understand, I don't have anything to do with Sky in terms of I'm not on their payroll or anything like that but you guys did ask my opinion so so far I love the HDR merge so far the results from noiseless AI look fantastic and so I expect the future plugins to also be very good as well whether or not they're relevant to your workflow we just don't know yet so whether or not you want to take that gamble save some money and get in early that is entirely up to you the link is there it does help me out i get a small commission and i really appreciate that it costs you no more um, and it just keeps helping me create these free videos for you but in no way am i saying go out and get it it is up to you guys like and if you're angry in some way i know some people are angry with skylum um yeah have a vent in the comments if you like just don't shoot the messenger, please. If I want to get told off, I've got my wife out there. Please be kind in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.